What's up guys, hope you can hear me. So we are looking at um, what I believe to be a Seidenbach coat. And we're gonna talk real quick about how to tell if it's real fur. Now I believe this is a dark chestnut dyed mink fur. And here's why. You wanna look at the very ends. Now if the ends look like they have a hard blunt tip on them, um, that's a good indication that it's a faux fur. So you can see that they don't have like the blunt tip on them. Also, they're all different sizes. If it was all the same size, it would probably be a faux fur, but there are varying sizes here and the tips are not blunted. Now, another thing, you can see the backing here. This is, you know, this is a real hide. So if you do have the opportunity, you can see the stitching here is all messed up. But if you have an opportunity to look at what it's on, you know, you'll see that that is, that is real hide right there. So this is real fur. Now, another way, if you can't see this, if it's not this obvious for you, you can part, you can try and part it and try and see what it's backed on. Now, if you just take the chance and get it home and you can't see any of this and you just still don't know, you can actually, I'm not gonna do it, um, but you can rip a piece out, there's some here, uh, and you can actually burn it and it'll either melt and crumple like plastic or it will smell like you're burning hair. So, nice coat, um, probably 1950s, 1960s Claire Seidenbach, um, just based on this lining that they used here, I can tell. But yeah, that's how you tell if it's fur.